The patient is a 45-year-old male who developed a severe complication after receiving an intramuscular injection on his right arm, which was administered by an unqualified practitioner. Unfortunately, the injection site became infected, leading to a large abscess formation containing approximately 800 to 1,000 milliliters of pus. Preoperative assessment. Before surgery, we performed a thorough preoperative assessment. The patient was counseled about the procedure and the risks involved. Due to the extent of the abscess and the patient's discomfort, we plan to perform the drainage under general anesthesia. Anesthesia and positioning. The patient was shifted to the operating room and placed in a comfortable supine position. General anesthesia was induced and maintained throughout the procedure to ensure complete analgesia and patient safety. Surgical procedure. After proper skin preparation and draping, an incision was made over the fluctuant area of the right upper arm. Immediately, a large amount of thick pus began to drain. Approximately 800 to 1,000 milliliters of pus were evacuated from the abscess cavity. The cavity was explored thoroughly using blunt dissection to break down any loculations. This step is extremely important to prevent recurrence of the abscess. Necrotic tissue and debris were carefully removed. The cavity was then irrigated multiple times with normal saline to ensure proper cleansing. Drainage and dressing. To facilitate continuous drainage and avoid reaccumulation, a drain was placed into the cavity. Finally, sterile dressing was applied over the surgical site. Postoperative care. The patient tolerated the procedure well. Postoperatively, he was kept under observation. Antibiotic coverage was started to control infection, and analgesics were prescribed for pain relief. The importance of wound care and follow-up visits was emphasized to the patient and attendants. Discussion. This case highlights a very important issue in our healthcare system. The complications caused by unqualified practitioners. A simple injection, if not given properly and under sterile precautions, can lead to life-threatening infections such as this massive abscess. Proper aseptic technique, medical supervision, and early treatment are essential to prevent such complications. Conclusion. In summary, this was a case of a 45-year-old male with a large right arm abscess secondary to an improperly administered intramuscular injection. Around one liter of pus was drained under general anesthesia. The cavity was thoroughly irrigated. A drain was placed and sterile dressing was applied. This procedure not only relieved the patient's symptoms, but also prevented further spread of infection. Discussion. This case highlights a very important issue in our healthcare system. The complications caused by unqualified practitioners. A simple injection, if not given properly and under sterile precautions, can lead to life-threatening infections such as this massive abscess. Proper aseptic technique, medical supervision, and early treatment are essential to prevent such complications. Conclusion. In summary, this was a case of a 45-year-old male with a large right arm abscess secondary to an improperly administered intramuscular injection. Around one liter of pus was drained under general anesthesia. The cavity was thoroughly irrigated. A drain was placed and sterile dressing was applied. This procedure not only relieved the patient's symptoms, but also prevented further spread of infection.